Today we're talking about the OBD11 device, the Pro Pack specifically. There are a couple different options. I have them linked in the description. We're doing this on a Mark 7 GTI, a 2017 specifically, going for an OEM Plus look as well as functionality. And having an OBD11 device is definitely key to getting that and having all functionality that we can out of this car. So let's dive into the process. This device right here plugs into your OBD2 port. There's two kinds of OBDs. Prior to the 1990s, there's an OBD1 port. 1990s to now, there's an OBD2 port. This product is called OBD11. Don't get that confused. They just called it this because I guess they wanted to. But if you're really new to cars, you could be thinking, well, is there an OBD 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm buying the 11 and now putting so much confusion can happen. This is a device that plugs into the OBD port that happens to be called OBD 11. We have this device because we want to unlock some hidden features in the GTI. We can roll our windows down with our key fob, which is really nice to have. Oh, by the way, if you guys wanna grab a Karma Speed jet tag, we have them on karmaspeed.com. Another thing we can do is turn traction control all the way off. When you hold it down, it doesn't turn it all the way off. You still have part of the stability control on. So when you wanna go fast, it's nice to turn it all the way off. These are often called tweaks, features, bunch of different things for them, but we're gonna be messing with the tail lights as well. We're gonna dive into that. I don't wanna give them all away right now. So let's go through the whole process of what it's like to experience the OBD11 product and change some things on the GTI. It's asking me for the VIN number now. I'm gonna walk out up front and grab that. Selecting what model, we have a 2017 to 21. We have the Golf GTI. We make sure we select five door. I'm liking the app thus far. I think I need to turn the key on. Finally in, tap to scan. I don't have any engine lights or anything else like that, so I'm gonna not mess with that. So we've got interior lights, fade in, fade out. We got all kinds of things. License plate, you guys can look at this with me. I'm not gonna read all of them off. Instrument cluster, look for photos on this. Let's do the absolute necessary ones first. Well, this is a pretty cool one. We have steering response. You tap in here and it says automatic at low RPMs, the steering response is comfortable at higher rpms the response becomes dynamic dynamic means the steering is response becomes tough and stiff so at high speed it stiffens up at low speed is comfortable that's actually pretty rad i'm gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna go dynamic setting activate we're activating right now so i just came across one that says ac adjustment for hot countries Set your air conditioning to a hot country setting. It will increase the cooling of your vehicle's interior. What does that mean though? I mean, of course I'm gonna do that. I live in Arizona, it's so hot here. I'll take anything I can get. Done, that was easy. One of the things I wanted to hit was called the rear lights configuration urban joke. And this kind of makes the taillights kind of bounce back and forth with the blinkers. I think this is pretty cool. It recommends having a battery charger on, so I'm assuming this takes a little bit. Took maybe 40 seconds. I love that. High intensity brake light. I like this one. When you hit the brakes real hard, it flashes three times. Um, you can kind of do that on some aftermarket setups with taillights and sometimes they're already programmed to do that, but with the car being the stock lights that it has, we can go ahead and change that to on. Sound actor. You have fake noise coming through your speakers in this car to make it more of an exciting driving experience. I get it from factory, it makes sense. Like when the car is quiet, it doesn't make any noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to off and then hit activate. That was really fast. Window function from remote. This is also a big one. All right, let's see what happens. Haha, 
that's rad. So you click and hold the lock button and keep holding it. Don't let go of it and they'll go up. I'm gonna click and hold the unlock. So we got the windows to roll up with the lock, but we need to go to car setup. And then we have our opening and closing now. Convenience opening all windows. And we want to unlock doors, all doors. That's something I wish I would have known to change a long time ago. Um, I do want to lock automatically. Holding the unlock. Hey. Gotta hold it all the way down. That is super nice to have, especially when it's hot here. You can let all the hot air out first. Then if you don't roll your windows up, you walk away, you just hold it there. Dashboard theme, this should be pretty cool. You can see the background on the center screen. Let's do standard. Oh, looks smooth now. Let's do dotted. Oh, that's pretty sick. I'm gonna go with that one. So I did change it twice and that did cost me 20 credits. So be careful how you spend these. ESC off permanently. This is a big one for these cars. If you wanna get the traction control all the way off, you need to get this OBD11 and code it off because it still has stability control even when you hold the traction control button off. So we're gonna go ahead and disable it so we can get going as fast as we want and just absolutely roast the tires if we want to. So there's quite a few options here where you can press it once and then turn it all the way off. I'm just gonna have it to where you press it once and then it's all the way off. There's no holding, nothing, and that's where it's gonna be ESC off. That's the mode I'm gonna go with. I like this a lot. Auto folding mirrors. I'm this is having the realization that my mirrors do not have the ability to automatically move in their manual. The angle of the mirror is powered, but the actual mirror can't move in. What I am gonna buy that we're gonna use for an upcoming video is the remote boot pop trunk release. The ability to pop the boot or release the boot catch with the remote control. We're gonna turn that on. We will be installing a hatch pop kit, so when you click it on your key, the trunk goes open. You can load your groceries and get on with your grocery shopping and get home. You can change things like seatbelt warning. I don't want to touch that. I'm a big, big seatbelt person. We have the video in motion. So there's like a DVD player in there underneath the glove box. So like you can watch movies while driving. There's a ton in this app that we don't have time to cover in this video. So I'll leave that kind of up to you guys. Once you get the product, you'll have something to look forward to that you haven't seen in this video. And just kind of make your way around the app and see everything that it has. In the workshop section of the app, we can do our reset for our oil service. We can do our reset of our DSG transmission. I've heard if it's lurching or it's acting up, you can reset it. I don't seem to have a problem and that's something I wanna dive more and learn about. We have our TPMS reset for our tire pressure monitoring system. You can also do that in the car so I wouldn't pay for it on here. I'm just kinda of looking around in the app, otherwise we can scan it. It shows we have 11.5 volts. We had 12.1 to start so we've used a little bit of battery. Pretty straightforward, simple app. Let me know down below what your guys' favorite things are to do with OBD11 and your Volkswagen or Audi vehicle. Karmaspeed.com, you can go grab a jet tag. I have this t-shirt I have on right now. We have some nice new era hats that I wear all the time. I want Karmaspeed to be a place that you go to without even having to see these videos. You just think, oh, if I need clothes, if I need resources, if I need help, by, eh, by about next week, we should have the resources section built out for the website. So I have everything organized for Amazon. So if you guys want to get tools, things like that, it's going to be rad. So we're working a lot on karmaspeed.com and it's going to be a ultimate resource for anyone that's into the automotive space. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go have fun with my GTI. I hope you guys are too. We'll see you in the next episode.